a brief uh, press conference from the police giving us some of the guidelines that people should follow during this uh, this year's matters day and right now we want to talk to the deputy spokesperson of the police to give us a few guidelines on uh, what is really going to be followed by the people that will be coming to attend this year's matters day how are you? Thank you. I'm fine. I'm very fine. Would Thank like you for to, hosting me. You're welcome. I would mm. like to basically understand what are some of the guidelines that people should have in mind as they come to celebrate this year's Mother's Day. Quite a number of guidelines, but this is particularly because we want to keep you secure. Yes. So the guidelines are in place to make sure that everybody understands what they should do and what they shouldn't do. Uh, for example, there are items we will not be allowing in. Mm. For example, knives, um, uh, intoxications. And, and all that, so we shall not be allowing in. We will also not be allowing in vehicles that are not accredited. So mm. if you know that you have a vehicle and you don't have a sticker, you'll not be allowed in. And for those particular ones with stickers, you'll go to particular places. Please note what your sticker says and that's where you will go and the rules that you will use. You also um, talked about uh, the national security. You said that there was a possible national yes, security Yes, yes. Uh, we are looking at uh, we are looking at intelligence information that we received that there could be people who could have access to the country and uh, as we investigate, we don't want to keep this information to ourselves mm. because we know that you and I have eyes and eyes are the most important thing in securing uh, people and also in fighting such incidences of terror like we saw in 2010. So if you see something suspicious or anybody suspicious, please do report. We don't want to tell you that they are blue or black, but as long as they are suspicious to you, then they are wrong. Please let us know so that we, can, we have the, the skills, we have the expertise to ensure that we uh, understand those people and remove them and keep you safe. Now, we, we have uh, we've had the Europa finals, we also are going to have finals on Saturday, and uh, we know that they usually target this period. Mm -hmm. So in particular, they could come to Namgongo. So if they do come to Namgongo, we are prepared to secure our people. But we want to work with you because we know that you have the power of the eyes and the ears, and you can help us to do that. So to some of the people that will be coming here in, uh, on third, what do you have to say about the health concerns? Quite a number of things that we're looking at, uh, in particular the water. We are working with National Water to ensure that the water in the, in the lake and also in the, in the taps is safe for them to drink. Uh, we're also working with the Marines, the police Marines and other security agencies have Marines that are going to secure the areas where water is so that we don't have any drownings. We're also having, um, of course, uh, Minister of Health on board because we, we will require emergency responses and we have the Directorate of Health Services of the Ghana Police Force to support that. We have ambulances that are going to be on, on wait just in case there is an emergency. We have the fire department that is going to be there. In case of rescues, we will be using them. We have the aviation power we already received a plane yesterday you know mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to we already had three and these are going to do surveillance we have put in place CCTVs we have 63 CCTVs at Namgongo alone and uh, we have a command center where we are monitoring these CCTVs and we want to ensure that whatever we see is reflected by the surveillance and we're able to quickly and timely respond to these emergencies so we are going to be with you as, as the securities not only because we are on, at work but also because we have also come to pray so to yeah. the general public that stays around here, what do they have to know about this particular uh, thing? Well, you mentioned something about them yes. understanding the time yes, of leaving yes. and the time of coming back. Yes, uh, the general public is aware that every 3rd of June there is a celebration here. Yes. And uh, so this shouldn't take them by surprise. Yeah. But we're saying this because we want to prepare them. We see the days to 3rd are really approaching. And we want them to know that as soon as uh, we get to 2nd, midnight, we shall cut off all the points. Mm -hmm. And so if you have to leave in the morning of third, please do leave. But be aware that we will not allow you to come in as the celebration is still taking place. So plan your time. Uh, we know it's, it's going to be a public holiday, so please plan your time so that you're not inconvenienced and also you don't inconvenience uh, the process of the celebration. We want to wish everybody well because this is very exciting. It ha it's happening in Uganda. It's our celebration and we want to encourage everybody to show the best part of Uganda to those who will be coming uh, from other countries. Okay, thank mm. you so much. You. Now the general public has been asked to be very alert and also to be the eyes and the ears of the police because they are on ground to actually see what is happening to keep the whole event safe and secure for Ugandans. Back to you, Rita, and of course we'll bring you all the details in our subsequent bulletins.